Hi, everybody. Russ from My Amazon 11. Hope you are all safe and well. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hitting the bell icon so you may know anytime I put new content on. As always, I'd like to thank our lovely channel sponsors. Just by Adam Z. Untuck it. Check them out in the description below. We've got another My Never X Hammer My Hammers 11 episode. You know you love them, but try and get as many to you as possible, um, particularly the international break because there's bugger all on at the moment. Um, he's our 63rd or 64th X Hammer. Um, played for the first team, played in the Europa Cup. Uh, playing the Premier League for West Ham, part of that fantastic 19, uh, uh, the FA Cup youth winning team as well. We've had loads of them on, had a bit Izzy, and we were just saying before, Izzy and Bertie and Anwar and Stephen and all these great, all these greats. And now we've got Adam. And, I'm, and there's people I know who are really looking forward to this this episode, Adam, to be honest. Really looking forward to nice hearing one. from nice you. One. So there we go. How are you, my friend? How are you? I know you're busy. You've just gone for a mascot run. We won't talk about it in more detail because we'll just leave it like that. <laughs> and no one will know what you're talking <laughs> just about. Just leave it there. How are you, man? Yeah, I'm good. Um, I'm, well, first and foremost, relieved to, to get in touch with you. Um, of course. Like, like I say, just apologies about last week and last night. Like you say, <laughs> Adam, Adam like, basically fell asleep. Out. <laughs> Adam, fell, Adam fell asleep basically, so that might real, carry on. Real, joking, real, man. Real, real life, real life problems, yeah. <laughs> it, it was but, um, real life problems, man. But nah, other than that, all good. Um, I'm cool. Like, you just, you just briefly saw the wife there, she's cool, she's chilling, and the kids yeah. are happy they're back at school. So, I think hopefully, yeah. um, things getting back to some sort of kind of normal. Um, the family's like, okay, that's the main thing, you know. Yeah, and it's so true. It's so true. The kids going back is a massive thing, and I, yeah. I, I don't think I could cope with any more homeschooling. <laughs> Luckily, I was getting, I was getting out. To be fair, um, I just, you know, used to come and get the brunt of it. I was like, oh, little bit, yeah. little bit of a war zone. So I just, just like pop my head in, and yeah, I've got to go shopping or something. Just yeah, get yeah, out yeah. of there. So, but no, <laughs> stressful times for for, for everyone concerned. But everyone thankfully rode it out. You know. Yeah, exactly. That's the main thing, man. And at least we got like. I know, you, and, and I mean, I mean, and you know, Benevin Point Reyes, obviously, you, you're you're a cabbie. I mean, what, what's what's that like at the moment in terms of people, just like work wise, you know, people getting using the cabs and stuff. Is it all a bit weird? And yeah, it just um, you know, right from the I was gonna say when if, when lockdown first sort of like happened, yeah. um, all the situation where um, key workers needed to move. So yeah. There were still there was still a little bit of work, as in um, hospital um, rail staff, yeah. um, you know, emergency people. Um, certain doctors needed to move between hospitals, um, and then the odd people that were still flying away. Yeah, um, and the very very few corporate jobs. Um, the mm -hmm. BBC had an account, um, so you just got to try and be lucky. And um, either, you know, get into contact like, with a regular person who uses or needs taxis or yeah. you use the, the taxi apps, basically, um, again, yeah. and just try and uh, try and work it that way. But, you know, I wasn't never getting the the same amount or the amount of customer no, I was used not. to yeah. because um, tourists aren't here. Um, yeah. People can't go t to eat. People can't go shopping. Mm. Um so yeah, it just it was thinning out a little piece. So I had to change the way I worked, um, and try and adjust to be around for home as well because my wife was working mm. as well. Yeah. So it was all a an all a, an adjustment period, but throughout the year there's been a few you know changes along the way, but we've just been managing, you know. Yeah, and it, my my mate's a cabbie as well, and he's he ended up he sort of ditched ditched the cab and ended up being a paint and decorator for a while, and then when yeah. Christmas came along, he did the whole London tours in a cab. And trust you know, me, I've uh, I've done the same. Um, yeah. I've considered the same. I like like I say, probably about two months ago, I had a really 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 tough um, couple of weeks mentally sure. as well, yeah. um, emotionally, and I was I was really. Yeah. I came close to giving it up um, and I yeah. never thought I'd even consider it. Mm. Um, I was really low, wasn't getting it, it wasn't getting any luck. And I was just thinking, what else can I do? I was just, just ready to retrain in anything else, mm. yeah. you know, tiling, painting, decorating, labouring, whatever. Mm. I just get somewhere and learn something else. Um, something. Just yeah. wanted to just have a change of scenery as well. Um, doing the same things daily. Starting to get a little bit monotonous and when it was tough you know the motivation started to to lower a little bit but 
of course you know you just got to stick it out sometimes man so it is but you know turn. it is it is it's just it is about sort of adapting in it uh, the people who adapt what is it <laughs> coming in see the, you're talking about ipads it's like, can you get me the? Oh, God, there we go. Sorry, it's not, it's not like I'm doing an interview or anything with Adam. Don't worry about this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, what the I've, got the year I was born? I've, I've, I've run away from mine. I've <laughs> I know you've run away. Oh, yeah, they I've find me. Upstairs. She finds me in the garage. I'm stuck in the <laughs> garage. She's only just got back from school. I hasn't even said hello to me back from school yet, but she's, she's just thrust an iPad in. Oh, I, I pressed the wrong thing. Um, and, in, and in terms of, you know, I think, when you see the roadmap, are you thinking, oh, brilliant, obviously, because you've got, like, the pubs open in April and then all the shops open. At least it means that you've got some sort of – you can look forward to what's going to happen now in terms of hopefully work turning up a little bit more for you. Yeah, we had that. It kind of – once we had the Christmas sort of – everyone can come out around the Christmas period, like, you know, got the bit of the feel-good factor again. Then you, you kind mm. of knew that lockdown was coming or things were going to shut down. And then – um what was it? It was kind of anticipating, um, I can't remember, like 4th or 5th of January, whatever it was. And then mm. kids were going back to school, um, you know, because, you know, being through the lockdown and home, um, kids being off all that yeah. time, um, there was a little bit of, you know, anticipated relief. But um, yeah, that wasn't to come sort of like a day or two before. And it's just like, wow, OK, so how long is this going to go on for? Mm. And then obviously you, you got the... Uh, you got the guideline up until March. He's like, geez, okay, cool. As, <laughs> uh, how are we going to work this one out? But and like I said, yeah. Ross, it, it just, okay, trying to adjust to it. But yeah, just during that, you know, first, uh, after that first month, that like, beginning of February, it was really, really, yeah. really tough. Real it tough. Was, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I was like, nah, even, not even I can do this. Um, mm. But we were here now, we're here today. Exactly. I don't know how, it's, I just think because I was doing the things, daily so much so often just one day just rolled into the next into the next you know like like yeah. i just saying that i just, I just beforehand i'm just telling you about my sleep patterns all over the place mm. and uh, having to change change me hours and stuff but just quickly get through it yeah you're totally right man i mean i only know what day wednesday is is because i've got to <laughs> take the bins out you know what I mean? So it's like, <laughs> what was that the, the blue the blue job? No, we, I mean, all church we don't get anything clever like that. We just get like <laughs> we just get bin bags, get bin bags. I think I'm gonna separate them. But anyway, a lot of cardboard this week for some reason. And yeah. um, but yeah, um, yeah, actually, yeah, the reason I know Wednesday. And oh, okay, well then I'll, I'll put a, I'll, I'll put a roast on because it's Wednesday. You know, it's uh, <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> I do like a I do a lunchtime show, and it's funny because everyone takes a piss at me on a Wednesday because they know right. I take my bins out and they know I've going to have a roast. So, yeah, you know I'm a man of man of habit, and yeah. so um, I have to get into a routine. And Some, yeah, sometimes I mean, it's the only way to get through this. It man. is. Just oh keep, man, keep doing the simple things. So man. true. It's keep so doing true. The simple things. I mean, when the kids went back as well, it's like that hour difference in bed from getting up. I have to get up at half seven now rather than half eight. Honestly, mm. I was like, it was like I, I, I felt like drunk for like two weeks. Like my head mm. was in like sleep is so important. I, I really underestimated how important sleep is. And uh, mm. yeah, it's uh, it, it, as you said, we're, we're going to come out of it the other end eventually. And, you know, in this, I think also the winter, I mean, the, the first lockdown, to be honest, in the summer was really relatively easy for me, I think, because the sun was not out and you were in the garden. It was 30 degrees. It was beautiful. Mm. The winter, it's dark. It's horrible. It's rainy. It's cold. Um, and now, you know, you see the light, you know, it's getting a bit better see the light, now. So. Whether get a lot more people out going for walks or going to the park, yeah, you know. Exactly. So and you, and people, people just want to get out, you know. Yeah, totally. That's what, every, totally. That's what, you, every, that's what everyone's missing. I mean, I've even I've even said, you know, I'm I'm more prepared to, you know, I, I I'm looking forward to taking flows. She, I mean, she's what she eight. I'm looking forward to taking to Claire's accessories soon, mm. you know, and and I and I can't believe I'm saying that, but it's it's true. Just to do a change of scenery and stuff, and I know I get absolutely rinsed with the old card, but don't matter. Um, so yeah, no, it's all good. And also, you know, from sorry, it's talk. Obviously, it's a West Ham channel, so obviously West Ham are doing well. So that's one thing. Oh, that's one thing you have to worry about, man, isn't it? It's um. You know, I'm in a I'm in a group chat with uh, with a with an with an old friend, and I've like met so many new you know West Ham colleagues along the way. You know, yeah. a couple of times I've been over the last few years, um, caught up with them, managed to meet a few of them face to face in the bat and ball and stuff. And um, 
great crack in there. And, uh, yeah. you know, once we finished uh, strong at the, at the back of last season, um, you know, kind of just anticipate, you know, okay, mid, mid-table kind of finish this year. Mm, yeah. um, but, you know, I, I can obviously, I can now voice my opinion as, as a West Ham fan. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm just, I'm buzzing for the team. Uh, yeah. You know, I, okay, most fans probably could, you know, agree or not agree. All right, cool. Champions League spot is, it's a pipe dream, but who who knows? Who cares? Like, if we get in there, why not? But yeah. I just think where we keep picking up good results against the top teams and our performances are justifying results. Like, listen, if, if we were doing this this well, we've come this far. Yeah. Um, we've got to expect to like at least get in that top seven. Yeah, oh, like, definitely. You know, if we if we finish eighth or we finish ninth, like you know, if like we're in the position where we are now, mm-hmm. if it was to tail off, you're kind of like, ah, oh, you still had a great season, but look where we were, like, yeah, or yeah. where we, all, you know. And um, I just think the, the performances of uh, of our captain De- uh, Declan Rice um, for now has really been impressed he's me this one. year. Do you know, he's the one. He's um, like. He's the one for now, for me. I think he's the one that we re- we really miss, and I don't think people yeah. realise we miss him until he's this not is, there. This is this is this is where we're starting to, you know, in our group, like you know, the jury was out on him certain cases yeah. and certain times and stuff. But you know, you know, having to play, having played myself, like all right, cool. He's still relatively young, adjusting to London, and yeah. obviously adjusting to a manager like David Moyes, who's mm. totally different to to, to Slaven. Um, you know, obviously very organised, very very structured, very disciplined. So whoever can buy into his game plan is flourishing mm. now. And I think he's got the right balance, got the right blend, got the right mix. I, lo- I love it when Ben Rama comes on for his 20-minute, 30-minute cameo. Yeah. You know, if he's, if he's starting, I want him to score because, you know, he is yeah. that kind of different player, um, yeah. willing to go past people and to take people. And I think if he does score, if and when he does get his first goal, um, yeah, I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna be a really, really important totally. player for West Ham. Totally, man. Totally, you man. Know, and it is true. Um, it, it's it's one of those things where I think you know it's it's a nice distraction to have the fact that there's so much football on the telly. But you know, the fact is, West Ham. For anyone who's a West Ham fan, the last thing they have, with everything that shit else that's going in the world, the one thing we haven't had to worry about is us getting going down this season, which is like you know, which is, well, this, <laughs> this is this is this is what I'm saying about enjoying enjoying the position that West Ham are in. Yeah. Like, yes. Okay. It's unexpected, but but it, we're up here now. Might as well. Yeah. You know, might as well give it our best shot. And like I say, the performances are justifying why we're up there. So it's almost yeah, like definitely. Like, listen, don't, don't don't just like have a day off or you know don't lower your standards type thing. You know, but um, no, I just it's, it's it's really is really is enjoyable watching, and just hopefully we can squeeze in a game. Maybe two before the end of the season at the Olympic Stadium. I think the yeah. I think the players deserve it, you know. Yeah, I think the players that's what deserve I mean. it, and yeah. and I think the fans would want to give you know like listen, like well done for this season, regardless whatever whatever position uh, we're in. Just the, yeah. like I say, the, over the whole year, whole, sorry, whole season, it's been it's been quality to be a West Ham fan. Absolutely, totally, man. Totally agree, man. I think, yeah, <clears throat> by all accounts, we can get the last game of the season, the Southampton game, ten thousand in. I think that yeah. would just top off the season quite nicely. And then hopefully Definitely. in the summer, everything gets sorted. And then by the time we get round to, you know, the, the, the Champions League qualifying matches in next season, <laughs> yes. um, we'll have 60,000 there. <laughs> or, or even the Betway Cup. I'll even take the Betway Cup, you know. Yeah, just another... s- squeeze in there. <laughs> yeah, so it'll be all good. No, it's true. And uh, no, it's, it's exciting times. It's, exciting. It's, it's a team. And obviously we, we had Izzy on the other day and I, and I said to Izzy, and he's probably... I mean, your team is probably the last team to have lifted a trophy for West Ham. Wow. Isn't wow, it? I was thinking wow, wow. about it. I was yeah. thinking about it. It may be, if not, it was like the one of the last, because obviously you guys won the FA Youth Cup in 1999. And we had, it was in, I mean, we won the Intertota Cup. But it doesn't really count, I wouldn't say. Intertota Cup really counts. But you, you guys must be. Must be the last time, yeah. last team to win something. Um, yeah. Which is mental when you think about it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's it's, men, it's mental, but it's also a shame. Well, if you want to count promotion, promotion. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, we could do uh, that. But yeah. even that, even that. So, I mean, you think back. See, look, we, 
we didn't win a promotion. We won the. We, we went up second. Uh, in that no, was before then. We had yeah uh, playoffs. playoffs uh, yeah, yeah. fine. Yeah, so we haven't. <laughs> so, so, so you understand I'm a West Ham fan. I'm clutching at everything here. I know, I know literally. <laughs> but we won that Betway yeah, Cup. Every, Betway Cup. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. All, I, all, 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 I, all I care about is we've uh, we've we're lifting or we're more current with silverware more than yeah. Spurs, more than yes. Spurs. So mm, yeah, just about. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. It's facts. It's facts. Okay, facts. Because Newt says it's it's facts. Uncle exactly. Newt says it's it's facts, man. Yes. It. Um, so so going back to like to playing for West, obviously you're a West Ham fan. But going back yeah. to sort of playing, obviously you, you joined the academy. I mean, was there other clubs going for you? Or was it always going to be West Ham? Yeah. Um, yeah, I trialled at um, Watford for the very yeah. sort of first, oh, I've got like, you know, um, a chance to play at a professional club. Because yeah. um, I, I, I lived over that way in Slough. Um, that's yeah. where I grew up. Um, and then I had the opportunity to go and um, trial at Chelsea. Um, but uh, my, Sunday, my Sunday team's coach, he knew a West Ham scout. Um, mm. And from there, as normal things play out, it is just a no-brainer. As soon as I had an opportunity, I knew I had an opportunity to uh, train or play for West Ham. That my head, my head was done. Like I didn't care yeah. about Watford or Chelsea. Um, um, so we trained. I, I started off at the, the satellite centre over in uh, Wexham for a couple of years, and then in the half term, I used to come over to um, Chadwell Heath to play sort of inter-house games. Um, and literally just progress from there. I've never looked back. So yeah. So and, as long as I, mean, I, was, I made my made my uncle happy, I was uh, <laughs> I was I was sold. So because he's a he's the first one to uh, bring me over to uh, to West Ham when I was a kid. Brilliant. Um, I can't remember the first game. I, I, for some reason, this is this is how far back I think when when Hoddle was playing for Swindon. Wow. And. Um, I used to, we used to go in the bowling um, a couple of times, however intimidating it was. I, I, dev- I never noticed it. Yeah. Um, but we used to go into, stand in the South Bank because at those times it was empty. So uh, my uncle used to say like, listen, we, we've got space in the South Bank, so we'll, we'll be yeah. here. But I just used to remember the away fans in the corner. So, uh, so he used to always make me go and stand on the other side, like more closer to the chicken run end. Yeah. yeah. Ch- uh, chicken run side, sorry. And um, but yeah, so I had some good times in the South Bank, and I think the only time I, p- I went into the North Bank, we had a game versus Southampton. I think it ended up three three. I think. I think it was, but anyways, it was great being amongst all the all the fans back then. Um, so not only supporting West Ham, like I say, once I had a chance to go and train and play, you know, yeah. my head my head just wanted just to get on the pitch from. From a very young age, of course. From a very young age, so all the dreams. And, and I mean, uh, it's a dream that everyone, every every person I know seems to have, have wanted to have at some yeah. time. And I mean, you know, looking back at that sort of that 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 obviously everyone talks about the FA Youth Cup final, but it was amazing. Um, you know, obviously scoring in both in both legs as well. If I remember, yeah. yeah. And so. Yeah. Again, that must have been incredible because that, you know, was that the that must have been the biggest crowd you played in front of in terms of uh, at, at, at the time, you know, because they just kept on bringing more fans in, didn't they? More and more fans, yeah. and it was like it just got a bit dangerous, I think, had, to be honest. We had, um, from from obviously that just being in that team, um, yeah, you know, grew up with grew up with the boys for the best part of four or five years, you know, sure, um, yeah, you know, obviously, as an adult, as a dad now, um. Looking back, you know, it's stuff that dreams are made of, um, yeah. and I can remember feeling like you know, I remember certain feelings what it was like back then, all those years ago. Yeah, and um, when I've spoken before, um, about the actual final, it was just another game to us. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. We, we had such a winning mentality, it didn't matter who we was, who we were going to mm. play, who we were going to face, we knew how we were going to play. And when things just clicked and stuff like that, that you know, our team was just so attacking, so attacking. But we also had, like had um, uh, enough discipline to, you know, when we if we didn't have the ball, um, yeah. we were strong enough to, you know, like be defensively uh, defensively disciplined and um, be patient and get the ball back and do our stuff, you know. 
obviously sure. Mr. Cole. <laughs> Mr. Yeah, Cole was I mean, the, the catalyst yeah. of many things, you know? Yeah, he was. I mean, it was an awesome team, wasn't it? You look back at the team, um, you know, we've got, as you said, we've, we've had we've had a few of them on already. Mm. Maybe Mr. Cole will come on soon, apparently yeah. soon. Um, maybe even an exclusive. We, we, we're getting Richie. Garcia's going to come on. Wow. From Perth. Wow, wow. Perth, Perth wow. Kurt, Glory. I've, I've got the confirmation today, so that'd be nice. I'd love to chat to him. It'd be amazing. Yeah. Um, and it's just, you just had this bond. And it, uh, what I love the fact is, you know, you, you had the sort of, um, you, know, you, had the, 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 you watched it a few years ago. You had the game. You had, it last, was it last? No, you before last, we had the game and um, everyone playing again. And, it, and it's lovely that we're sort of bringing this this team back together and it's all sort of like yeah. you know like we sort of do the boys of 86 we do the F, we do the fa um, cup team the 1980 team we sort of you know i love the fact that we do it with you guys as well and sort of keep that bond together because it's it's a special time that was a special team really, really special team. It, it, it really was um it really mm. was for any you, you know regardless of you know whether or if if you have a professional career you know mm. it's all part of like adolescence young young adult um, young adult years, yeah, and um, some of them like I've, I've got bonds and friendships for life, like you know, yeah. and obviously I've got respect for every single one of my teammates for life because we came, we we all went through that journey as a team, as yeah. a unit, yeah, and um, you know, no matter where or which directions uh, careers went, some went on to progress fantastically, some mm. dropped out fairly soon, you know, yeah, you, you're not you're not ever going to forget those those couple of years where you train together daily you won and you lost to get off well we didn't really lose that much <laughs> so um but but you know you went through so many good times great times little tours and stuff like that where the, everyone just got on there was no yeah. animosity there was no beef there was no bitching or fights and stuff like that don't get me wrong there was competitiveness which yep. has to be expected but no one had any issues with each other and mm. you know thankfully i learned very quickly um with the good with the group that i had if we had issues we sorted it out within about yeah. 10 15 minutes and it never harbored never mm. harbored so it was, it, it, it was it was it was it was a great learning p- process of life and you know becoming a young adult young a young man so to speak so really mm. enjoyable yeah, exactly, and, and and you know, you said some people didn't didn't sort of progress in the game, but obviously for you, um, you know, as well as sit, you know, you, you sat in the sta- you stood in the stands, don't stand, in, you stood in the stands watching West Ham, and then to have played for West Ham, albeit you know three first team appearances, but fucking anyway, I think everyone would have t- changed their their whole life to do yeah. once that you know for you. Um, that must have been amazing. I know that yeah. it was it was it must have just been incredible um, to to That's- come out and play for your team. Just um, you know, when when we used to train over at um, Chadwell Heath, just to you know get get over get called over, even sure. though it was just for like shadow play or whichever, just to yeah. be amongst the first team. All right, let's see what they do. And, like, yeah, yeah. don't get me wrong, you're shitting yourself. You're nervous. Like, sure, well, yeah. You know, you just you just want to impress. You want to do the right thing. You want your touch to be nice, and you get a little taste. You just want more. Like mm. literally, you just want more and more and more. So. I then become a professional. I'm sort of in there, like regularly now. Now I'm just like, okay, cool. And then you start travelling away with the first team. Yeah. All right, cool. You, you start warming up. You're not in this squad, but you don't care. You just want to get on the get on the pitch, like Aston Villa or Anfield or Ellen Road. You're just warming up. You're just there to just soak in the atmosphere. So you've done your mm-hmm. bit. You come off. You have a shower, and you see the players going out. I'm like, nah, I don't want to be showering. I want to be yeah. on the pitch or on the bench, and I had, I got that into my head very very quickly. Um, I wasn't just happy just to, you know, be part of it. I wanted to to be beat it, you know. Mm. Um, but I had a certain Mister Sinclair. Yeah, me. <laughs> so, of the um, channel, Mr. Sinclair. So, yeah, I, mean, yeah. I, I was happy to to learn off him. He was very 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 super supportive anyway. Oh, um, always pushing me. Always, oh, you got to do better here. You got to do this, and. Uh, if and when I just ever got an opportunity, um, just yeah, just try and make the most of it. So, you know, I was I was happy to be involved in the squad. Um, I was happy to be, you know, named as a substitute from from many many games. It was always that there learning, watching. Yeah. But you know, selfishly, professional, I wanted to be on the pitch no matter what. So, um, I got a chance at at um, Highfield Road. 
Um, yeah. We was playing really well. And this is my Premier League sort of appearance. Um, we was playing really well. And um, it was a great day. The fans, like West Ham fans, always travelled well to Highfield Road at the time. Always made noise. Great atmosphere. And uh, come on the pitch, it was just a nice feeling. But even better um, when I made my appearance at Upton Park. Because I think I only came on for a few minutes, but I think it was winning. I think it was five nil up. Um, I think Carrot got a goal that game as well. So it was just you know, you know, watching Joey and and, and Michael play every week. You just oh, I just want to get on there with them because mm. although it although it was great in the youth team, you could I just wanted to just to carry that feeling onto the pitch in the first team. Just have that you know the way the little things that we used to do and like connect. Uh, Week in, week out in the youth team and stuff. Just like let's let's have a little pattern of play on like, the first team pitch. But but emotionally, to come on the pitch and uh, and just I just remember seeing my um, my uncle. The first wow. thing I did before before because I ran over by the chicken run because yeah. we was attacking we was attacking the Trevor Brookings stand um, that in in the second half for for whatever reason. And I came on and I, was, I thought, oh gosh, am I going to get back here? But you just felt the warmth from the chicken run. Although they yeah. were sat down, it wasn't like obviously back in the old days or whatever. But yeah. Before I ran over there, before I even got to the centre circle, I looked back and I could see my uncle. And oh, I'm wow. getting emotional now because God bless him. Yeah. He's, you know, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's oh. up in the sky now. Yeah. 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 But, um, but yeah, it was really nice to see him up there. And I just thought, nah, man, you, you started this for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Uh, it was really That's nice. Amazing. So, so we, we was winning 5-0. It was kind of easy. So I just thought, right, let me just get the ball and try and have a run. And yeah. Uh, But yeah, it was all good. For, for, all, for all the personal reasons, it was fantastic. But all for, uh, for professional reasons as well, just like I said, I just wanted a little bit more. Of course, of course, you did, and I mean, we've had we've had people like um, we've had. I mean, we had obviously you know we spoke before. We had, we had Izzy on. We had we had Hodges on the other day, and you know, and, and he Hodgie. yeah, bless old Hodgie. And you know, Harry H basically offered him a contract. He turned it down to go to Scunthorpe to play first yeah. team football. Um, mm. And he was like, to be honest, Russ, it was I could have easily done that, but I always play first. It was all about being in the first team. All about yeah. being in the first team. I don't want to be on the bench anymore. And, you know, to be honest, that's that's probably the path you took with Peterborough, you know, 250 yeah. odd appearances. And so that's that's the way well, to go, man. As you said, you know, I, you, I just um, with with that, that, like I say, after 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 the back of that season, um, yeah, you know, I wanted to have a good pre. I was doing all right for the preseason um, yeah. the following year. And um, yeah, I went I was in the first team squads made. A lot of appearances and uh, like you know, so I thought, okay, cool, just stay fit, get through yeah. the games, and like uh, hopefully I should be, you know, put put my neck on, put my neck in there, um, to have a, a few more appearances. I got a, a like a pretty bad training ground injury, bit of a freak one, but uh, and that set me back that year, mm. um, and then basically I got a finger put pushed in my eye. Um, I came off the train, I I couldn't see. So um, put me out for two months. And then obviously when I came back, Harry wanted me to go out on loan for, to get some games, get some fit and get me up to speed yeah. basically. Mm. And as I went to Notts County and then I went for the first month, I thought, right, that'll do. He goes, no, 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 now stay out there for another month. But okay, stay out there for a little bit longer. And they gave me a third month. And I think in that third month, um, Harry left. And I think that's when Glenn Roder came in. Mm. So, um, so when I came back to West Ham, I wasn't really in the picture. No, no. So, no, um, so I thought, right, okay, let's obviously just ride out this season or whichever, and then mm. you know try and see what happens at the uh, end of sorry at the beginning of next season. But it was mm. very clear I wasn't going to be in the picture. Yeah. So I've got I'd gone through the tail end of um, the season where I made my appearances, started off okay had the freak injury, struggled to sort of come back, went on loan. Mm. While I was out on loan, change of manager, change of manager, change of opinion. Yeah. Um, and I wasn't really getting anywhere. Um, so I thought, like, from where I, I got myself up, I took a couple of steps back, Yeah. Um, which happens. Um, mm. But um, at the time, I wasn't too happy. And I just thought, yeah, I'm not, it's very clear I wasn't going to get in anywhere under Glen Roder. I needed to, to go and play. So, yeah. um 
So yeah, I just remembered that um, Tommy Williams and Jimmy Bullard had gone up to Peterborough. I remember seeing um, Barry Fry run up the t- uh, the touchline, um, celebrating when they scored against Newcastle. So I thought, oh, he looks a bit live. Let's go and see what he's yeah. about. <laughs> and uh, met him, and I just thought, wow, blew me away with his charisma. Yeah. And I thought, all right, cool, let's go for it. Like you know, I'm gonna play. You know, I got told I'm gonna. Pl- I-, I do okay. I'm gonna play. I just thought, yeah, yeah fair enough. Let's go for it. On. I just, I just wanted mm-hmm. to play. Yeah. So exactly. And it's gone from there. <laughs> I could see that the appeal of Barry Fry in terms of obviously you, you know you sort of you, you're a very early West Ham career with, with with Harry and stuff. There's 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 a there's a cohesion. You can see there's sort of similar similar types of personality. You know, larger than life. You know, yeah. You know, so I can see that. You can see that a similar. Obviously, Glenn God rest his soul was was very sort of yeah different to Harry. Um, yeah. And uh, and yeah, and no, I could see that. And, and as I said, you, you end up playing. You made you know, over two hundred fifty appearances with Peterborough, and and yeah, you were you were justified in that, and that's it's the same as Hodgie, exactly the same as Hodgie. You made a couple yeah. of hundred appearances for Scunthorpe, and, and even yeah. Izzy, same thing happened with him. You know, he did the same thing, yeah. and it's one of those that's things. The thing is, we we get out the once you come out the, I, I I can't see him say the comfort zone or the bubble because we just wanted to play for West Ham, like you know, you and, I, and I, Izzy would echo the same because you know, growing up in Canning Town, he's a, he's a, he's an East End boy himself, you know. Yeah. yeah. And um, that's that's all we ever wanted to do. We just wanted mm. to be in the first team and and do our bit for yeah. for West Ham. But it comes yeah. to a point where you start to understand and you know you mature slightly in ter- in football terms. Even though you would want to go back to West Ham and you still want to play for West, yeah. you, you're not really getting anywhere. And yeah. rather than fizzling out, like look, man, I just need to go and play. Yeah. I need to go and take a step back to hopefully come come back again or come forward again yeah and um yeah for some others it worked out for for others you know we found our sort of found our level you know yeah but it makes sense i mean you, as you said you know someone like jimmy for example jimmy did the same thing didn't he and yeah definitely. Um, and and even nowadays you i mean josh cullen josh cullen left and he's tearing it up in and elect yeah you know, i think he was captain the other day for him so right. you know sometimes it comes to a point where you know you think how many more times can i go out on loan um yeah. you know i need i need to to grow some roots more than anything so yeah i, I mean i sort like, of all i was gonna say all i was gonna say is that like, with with the likes of uh with josh cullen um, and obviously G- Jeremy uh, Ngaki has left. It's nice to see, um, for me personally, uh, Ben Johnson get in some games. Yeah, yeah um, definitely. Because I, I'm not too sure what it's like for these youngsters um, in Premier League setups, academies, and, and with the under 23s, it sort of gives them a little bit more time to sort of be ready. Yeah. So I want to know how they train, how they approach even like playing for the under 23s and stuff like that, because, mm. you know, for us or myself, it was just youth team reserves first team. Yeah. Like, yeah. okay. you got like, now you just, you just got a little bit more time. I don't know if it's more harder to break into that first team, mm. first team setup, but like, you know, to, to, to get in the, to get in the squad or on a regular basis, um, you know, it's nice that the club can sort of say, you okay. Yeah go and spend a season like Josh, what Josh is doing um, or has done, I should say, um, like with along with many of the other youngsters, go and play elsewhere, get your games, but we've still got an eye on you, you know, rather than getting forgotten mm. about. Yeah, no, it's true. So, um, it's true. Yeah, and I think, it's interesting. Yeah, it is, it is. And it, it, I mean, you know, I think that's the thing with, with, with Moyes as well. He seems to be open to, to give more y- youngsters a, a chance. He's obviously buying, you know, we're buying younger, hungrier rather than traditional sort of West Ham players, you know, right. so I mean, in your era, for example, you know, Ian, we, you know, we don't buy Ian Wrights and, 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 uh, and Neil Ruddock and, and people like, Win- yeah, and, Win- and Winter Burns and Winter Burns and Stuart Pearce. <laughs> Stuart you know, Pearce you know, I yeah. mean, we had, we had loads of left backs, didn't we? Old, old left backs. We had Piercy, yeah. we had Winterburn, we had Chrissy Powell, we had yeah. Rufus. Yeah, we had some great them. Um, but we don't do that anymore. We're buying yeah. these young, hungry players in the Championship or the Czech Republic League, whatever. And and that, I think that's the way to. That's the way it's going through. So, and there seems to be a really good crop of youngsters coming through as well. So you know, it's, we're, in, we're in good hands, I think, for this season, next few seasons, to be honest, man. But uh, yeah, and I mean, saying that, you know, people like Wrighty and and and, and Razor and, and Tracy, Trevor as well. Well, you know, yeah. as a young lad going in and seeing these guys, their household names in football, and you're training yeah. with them every day, you must have been like, pinch me, seriously, pinch me. This is yeah, just, just I've gone from 
you know, obviously like when I was still youth team, I was I was right his boot boy. Yeah, and, I was um, gonna ask you boot who you uh, you was right his boot boy. Did you get a good tip? Yeah. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I didn't I didn't ever think I'd get it, but yeah, I did to be fair, because first time obviously right he's a, such a character and um, that was yeah. you know on that note um it was it was it was a great sort of um environment to step into even though it's kind of a little bit intimidating because yeah. we had the likes of uh kits and hearts and oh, um yeah. razor um shaka um trevor rio monks lomi the, the, I can reel off the names. Like yeah. everyone had a larger than life character. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, we'll bring Wrighty into there. You're just like, oh my gosh, it's yeah. never going to stop. <laughs> so, um, so Wrighty comes in. Um, we kind of just sit in the can- sat in the canteen there having breakfast or whichever. And uh, Eddie Gillum comes and he goes, ah, oh, Newts. I go, ah, oh, cool. He goes, Wrighty he goes, uh, he, this is your boot boy. And uh, Wrighty just like, he just straight away, he just goes, all oh, right, okay, okay, that's it. He goes trying to make me feel comfortable, make me feel you bring you bring a brother in to do me boots, yeah. Did it, and I'm just sat there like, oh my gosh, oh. didn't know, <laughs> yeah. know what to say. But like everyone was kind of like a little bit, didn't know how to take it. And then Razor just started pissing himself, and then like the whole canteen just started cracking up. But what a what a welcome and what a way to introduce yourself. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. so from then, from the very first minute, like he was one of the boys, you know. Yeah, great, ca- anyway, great character. Great character. I mean, they all were. I mean, it was it was a really yeah. good. You know, I, I mean, when you reeled off some of the names, we've been fortunate enough to interviewed a lot of them. And yeah. that to me was the last fun era at West Ham. No disrespect Definitely. to football now, but now it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's now it's, it's very sterile. I think it's very professional. No disrespect yeah. to, to, to people like monks, you know, I'm not saying it was not professional, but they're, they're almost like finely tuned athletes now. You know, you when, couldn't. When, when, I, when, I sp- when I've spoken about those, those names before, don't get me wrong. Um, like, and it's not just the environment that we was in it's just it's just the game yeah, um yeah, like totally. fortunately for me the last sort of character i've kind of played with is jimmy bullard yeah. um someone who's i wouldn't even say eccentric but what you see on on tv now imagine getting that every day he is 100 miles an hour and it just yeah. it breaks it breaks up like what you say the the stiffness or the professionalism do you know what i mean yeah. because um even someone like uh like to say, like like Lomi. Lomi is probably one of the most professional guys you'll come yeah. across, but he's ready to crack a joke. Yeah. Um. And if he was too serious, it'd get it'd get cut down by John Moncur. Now, yeah. people might say John Moncur could be the angriest guy as as a youth team player, the angriest professional. You don't want to get on your wrong side of him, but like he'd be the first one to take the mick out of you, mug you yeah. off, wind you up, snap you. But you see him play every Saturday. He's tearing around the middle. So you like he's 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 still being professional, and doing what he's supposed yeah. to do. Yeah. But yeah, great set of lads. Johnny Hartson, like Trevor, yeah. like oh. fun, one of the funniest guys ever. R- Rio, you know, yeah. always looking to crack a joke. But look how elegant he was. Like when yeah. it was time to work, these guys worked. Yeah, that's you know? that's the key, isn't it? It's, it's when it yeah. was time to work, they play they play hard. But when it was time to work, that was it. Game face on, so they yeah. could go out. I mean, you know, you could go out on your Tuesday night club down the toll gate, you know, and have a beer, yeah. you know, and you could do that because you know that. And I, I've asked I've asked Razor and, and, and Sinks about it because obviously yeah. that season we were riding high like we are now, and you know they could have easily because. Because the team spirit was superb. Exactly. Like even yeah. even as young pros, right? Um, like Razor and Sinks made us come on the uh, on the on the team Christmas night out, and like <laughs> you know, we, 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 not so much you had to be like behave yourself and all that, but what are you doing? Get that down, yeah. Get that down. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you know, you just look back at them times, just think what a great what a great sort of set of people to be around. Yeah. Like you see them training, but this is okay. This is what you do outside of trade or like socializing everything you know just brought us in like made us feel yeah. one of them and even though these are big senior pros and stuff they they looked at us as, as one of them yeah. which was which was really nice and really helpful do you know what i mean so yeah never forget and little the, things like then that when you then when you when yeah that piece of place like that when you're the senior pro you sort of learn from that and with the youngsters coming through you, you know it's just and i think that's that's all that's important when it comes to football is, is how it's then passed down and 
That's yeah, it. I mean, just an amazing, uh, yeah, just a, such a such a great time. I think that was, and it's mm. yeah, because now I mean, the characters don't tend to get in, and and they they're few and far between. Um, I think that's why Declan Rice is so adored yeah. by everyone because yeah. he's a character. You can, um, you can see he doesn't mind taking the mick out of himself, nah. and he has a laugh, and it, it it really is nice that he can still lead, he can still be. Um, you know, so professional and dominant yeah. in his performances week in, week out. Mm. But then when the game's finished, you know, you see him on his snaps or his Insta, and like you know. even having a little bit of banter with people like Jesse. And, you know, I've got to say, w- what a signing that is. Oh, I, lo- I love, I love Jay Links. I just, I just, <laughs> you know, again, as a fan for the club, he's just given us a little five, 10, 50, whatever percentage you want to call it. He's just giving it a lift. Yeah, giving it yeah. the team. The team wasn't struggling, but it's it's added more quality to it. You're totally right. Yeah, and I just hope that he's enjoying it himself. I hope he mm. wants to come to London himself, um, and I hope he feels good around the place himself. You know, I know, yeah. you know, Moyes would have worked with him before, so he knows what quality that is. But does, um, yeah. you know, having having the likes of people like a bit of banter with like, with with Declan Rice and and Tony as a character as well. And yeah. he's uh, I think we've yeah, got just, we've got quite a few in our squad, you've got, you know. I think you've got, you've got a couple in there, you know. Yeah. So I think yeah, no, it's, it's good to see. It really is good it is. to see. It's great to see. It's good to see because obviously now the, now the game's moved on. It's not necessarily all about you know you've got the team morale internally, but also it's how that's portrayed for an outside world. And the Definitely. fact is, they're both you know as you said. Instagram, Twitter, whatever you know, Jailing and, and Rice and Antonio and even even Suchek gets involved. Bless him, you know. <laughs> but I, I, but that's what I love. I love there's this yeah. sort of there's and and you you've got it as as you said. You know, when you guys were firing all cylinders, you take on anyone. You think you beat anyone. That's yeah, what this team's got now. This team's got that yeah. mentality, and um and it's good to see, man. It's good to see. Yeah, um, it really and, is good. Yeah. Jay Lings, I love. And I love the fact Jay Lings turned up to the England training session in his West End tra- tracksuit. <laughs> I did. That's what I, I, love, man. See, I, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen yeah, it. That's quality. I thought that was quite good. That's quality, yeah. man. But hopefully we can keep him next season. And, and I know what you mean. And it's the same, you know, when you get a really good player, he he just, he looks, he just, he improves the whole team. He just has this, yeah. this, 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 I don't know, intensity which I don't think we've had for a while. Um, and it's, you know, it's, I just think it's great. Don't, don't it's get me wrong. When, when, when people get added, um, you know, fair play to, to the, to the gaffer. Um, Cause yeah. obviously he, he, he probably knows what, what uh, Lingard's all about. Yeah. Um, what type of character he's bringing into the sort of group, you know, cause you don't want someone that's going to sort of disrupt the, disrupt the harmony or start totally. getting under people's skins and stuff. And like I say, he just come in and just whatever percentage he's come, he's lifted the place, he's got involved, and uh, yeah, it's just it's a long, 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 long may he stay, man. As yeah, long as he wants, it'll be it'll be yeah. great for us. He will, and I think he's got plenty of miles on the clock because yeah, he has. Definitely. I mean, he's twenty nine, but he's only played like a couple of hundred games. Of course, and so you know. I think he's got, he's like, a, he's like, you know, I mean, you're, you're a cab. I mean, I've got a car, it's only got 25,000 miles on the clock. It's a 10 year old mini, but you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's still got, you know, it hasn't even had its, any of its stuff changed. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what, what, what it is, but you know what I mean? That's what yeah. I think, you know, whether we spend on him, he's not going to be like dumb by the time he's 32, 33. He's got another few yeah. years on him. Definitely. Yeah. He's um, definitely well worth the pennies, man. Oh, definitely. Well man, worth, definitely. Well worth it. Right. Okay. We're not, let's not delay the inevitable. So as I said, what All we right. do and everyone is we, we pick an 11. So you pick an 11 of the players you played and trained with. I'll, I'll allow that. Cause yeah. yeah Ooh, okay. You know, just cause I think, you know, cause as you said, some players you might have trained with and not played with, but you know it's up to you, man. So if you were picking an eleven, that's what we try and do. So um, it's only a bit of fun, and feel free okay. to put honourable mentions so no one gets pissed off. You haven't picked them. You can pick yourself as well if you want to get your appearances up as well. Added that, man. Um, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> who would be who would be in goal for the Newts eleven? Come on. Right for for my ultimate West Ham team. Yeah, your your right. team, the ones you've you've actually played with or you've trained with. You know what I mean? That's what I mean. I'm 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 going to be really short and sharp with this, Good. like because I'm just going to have to put my 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 West Ham youth team in there. Like I am <laughs> not, I am not <laughs> saying as is. Any, anything any different. Uh, did it? Is, did he say that? Is it is the same thing? He said, "Do you know oh, what? Really? Why, why mess? Why mess with perfection?" <laughs> well do, do you know what do you know what like 
I can name my bench who I'd like on my bench. Yeah, okay. Right, so we'll say <laughs> right. the 11. We'll say the 11. We'll put, we'll put you, we'll put Ears, we'll put Terry, we'll put, uh, you know, you, you can play show. You know, we got Sean, we got uh, Joe, yeah. we got Carrick, we got Richie, okay. we got Bertie. That's what I'm we saying. We got Amos, we got Ball. Yeah, okay, we'll put them all in. But who would you have on your bench? Go on, I'll give, right. you, I'll give you a nine like it's a Premier League squad. Right. Go on then. All right. Otherwise, okay. you know. All right, I, I, I have to put JD in because he, he's, he's a mate. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Um, so uh, yeah, so okay. JD's, JD's in there. Yeah, um, and then I have to put Sinks in there. Obviously, um, you got to. Otherwise, yeah. it means also I can because you've put him in. I can then say that it's including him. And Trevor always retweets anything that I put his name in. Okay. So there we go. Social yeah. engagement there. So we put okay. Wicked. Sinks is in as well. He's on the bench. Definitely because just yeah, he he was like dad to me, man. Like he yeah. really helped me out. Um, uh, obviously Paolo, definitely Paolo. Definitely, um, he helped a lot of us young lads as well. Um, just, just, just to watch him how he just to train and his sure, dedication, yeah. but see what he done on a Saturday, like mm. he's unbelievable as a fan and as a professional. It was lovely. It was a pl- absolute pleasure to work with him and see how he done things. So you got JD, Trevor, um, Paolo, obviously Rio again. Yeah, like really, really, really pleased, and he he was always someone for him for us sorry to sort of emulate look up to um that could have a joke with us as well same thing with frank um what i appreciate with frank as well and you know i've got nothing but admiration for frank um i know he's like sort of marmite with a lot of west ham fans but yeah what what i always try and tell other people is where he always used to get a lot of stick from the fans um Mm. because they thought that you know he's only in there because of his dad and his uncle um I don't know when when Chad or Heath used to be open to to to, to fans to go and watch training. Yeah. Um, when everyone had finished, Frank used to be out there training by himself, yeah. whether it be running, um, obviously inside in the gym. He got himself in condition, like yeah. day in day out, and he used to think, "Wow, well, Frank's like he's he's going some like you know what I mean." So he's okay. I know he used to do a lot more for Chelsea with his long range goals. And yeah. banging them in from everywhere. He used to mm. do that in training all the time. All the time. So it wasn't any surprise that he took that on to the West Ham first team, to Chelsea, to England. Good yeah. luck to him. Like nothing but admiration for Frank. Yeah. So I've got JD. Got five Sinks. so far. Yeah, you've got five, five on your bench. Right. So I need some characters in there now. Um, <laughs> I'll have to have Razor in there. Yeah. You've got to put Razor in he'll, he'll because he'll be um, it as well. He's it, it, a uh, oh, Willie. <laughs> Honestly, the man oh, he's crazy. I love him. He's, he's absolutely nah, he's, he, he, he's you know I need need some energy and some character in there, but I need yeah. someone who's going to put a little bit of in, bit of fear into opposition. Because if he if he wanted to head the ball through your head, he would get the ball still. So uh, <laughs> I love Razor in there. Um, backup goalkeeper to Bywater would be Shaka. Again, another character. Yeah. Um, sometimes quiet, but when he come out of his shell, he was the la- he was one to laugh the loudest. Yeah. Um, great, great person to have around the the, the, the training ground as well. Um, you know, didn't have a problem with anybody. Um, yeah. yeah, like lovely guy, lovely guy. Um, right, how many is that now? Six, seven, 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 seven. Right, right, right. The last two. It would have been it would have been seven, but obviously now we now we have nine goal, nine strike, nine subs. So you know it's your own fault now. So okay, you all right then. You got you got so away I, with it saying the eleven, saying the, the youth cup de- squad. So there I, we go. I, I definitely know my last one. I'm trying to put in one in between there. Okay, okay. I'm trying to think now. Who do so I admire? Got... Who do I admire? Hmm. Should I go with a <laughs> professional? Should I go with a character? Oh, I don't know. I mean, you've got. I mean, it's up to you. It's up to you. You're you're the, you're the boss. I'm the you're the boss, Newts. You're a gaffer. gaffer. All right. Would you call? Well, you, would you? If you was a gaffer, would you call yourself? Would you want to be called gaffer, or would you go or boss? Oh, Just a random really. question. Because I never thought what? that's the first time I've asked that do, question. Do, do, but... do, do you know what? I, I I I don't want people to sort of have sort of intimidation, or they've got just boss. Boss, boss, yeah, or or newts, because I, I, you know, I, I, I remember when we uh, we was we was kids and stuff, right? And I've just thought, hang on, what's going on here? Like, 
even like the first year pros and and uh, sorry the first yeah the first year pros when we was YTs, they used to call Harry Redknapp H. I was like, yeah, ah, uh, you is he, he, you can speak to him like he's your mate and all that business like, like bloody hell like wow. <laughs> like you know we couldn't even call Tony Carr like TC like now Tony like <laughs> he knew yeah. nothing else. Like, <laughs> I love Tony. I love Tony. But, but, um, love Blake. but yeah, you've got to be an element of respect there. I'm struggling to find number eight. You know, I'm not definitely right, go, got go, go, go go for number nine. Go go for right, number so nine. Number yeah. nine, hands down, without fail, is, is obviously righty. Yeah, um, hundred percent righty. Character, you know, looked after me uh, for a good year. Um, you know, loved him as a player, um, and again watching him train and, and things like that. It was you know, just a pleasure to be around sort of idols, you know? Yeah. And, totally. um, oh gosh, I'm struggling with the last one. This well, you could do, I mean, I mean, I mean, West Ham, we've been playing eight subs for a few games anyway, mate. So don't Fair worry enough, too then. much about it. So, right. so I'm happy. Nothing, it's good enough no, for David nothing, Moyes. Nothing's jumping out on my head. So I'm just going to stick with eight. So yeah, I, matter, I, 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 I can't, I'm not going to replace any of my, my, uh, my, my, Youth Cup team. Um, Love it. Nah, they, you know, Ed, Ed and those boys, you know, they were, they helped me, helped me be who I am, become who totally. I am or who I was, you know, so yeah. can't go against them boys, man. So, nah. Good. No, fair play. Fair play. No, I totally agree, man. Totally agree. All right. Nukes, man, it's been absolutely lovely chatting to you, buddy. No, I, I don't want to keep you from your family any longer. Um, right. And obviously, thank you. And thank you to everyone for watching or listening, whatever. Give it a like, give it a share from myself and from Nukes. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Wash those hands. Get those jabs. <laughs> Come on, you irons. And we'll see Come you on again you very, very soon. Come on, you nice irons. Nice one, Russ. Take care. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Thank you.